Kristen. Yes. Kristen, uh, where, where did you grow up? Where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from South Carolina. South Carolina. What city? Uh, Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay. where, uh, and how long have you been out here? I've been here for six years now. What brought you out to LA? I actually came out here to try to get clean off heroin, but that oh. didn't go so well. Is heroin in South Carolina too? Yeah, a lot. I thought it was just out here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty bad there too. Oh, really? Yeah. And how did you get introduced to heroin? Um, my boyfriend sold heroin that I was with. Oh, and I yeah, I went from doing pills to doing the heroin. Yeah, it's a common Yeah. And then when I came out here, it was so much cheaper that I really got bad into it. Oh. That's how I ended up in the wheelchair. Oh, really? What happened? Somebody put battery acid in my dope and gave me a hot shot. Oh, no. Yeah, so it burnt me from the inside out. I got lost 60% of the muscle in my left leg, 40% in my right leg, and 10% uh, in each arm from where the acid burnt through my skin. You see the scars? Yeah. How long ago did that happen? A year ago. A year ago? Yeah, I just learned how to walk again. So you, you think there's hope for you walking down the road? I hope so. I'm confident. If the doctor said if I keep practicing because muscle has memory if you keep practicing with it then there's a good chance I'll be able to do it again okay, okay. so uh, where, where do you stay now are you on the street or I'm homeless you're homeless do you yeah. have a tent or something like that yeah I have a tent and then what do you do for money whatever I can you know girls do all kinds of things for, for money these days yes. Okay. Not always the best things, but you know. Yeah, this neighborhood. Yeah. You see it all. Yeah, definitely that. It's it's kind of dangerous out here, but you still got to take care of yourself and eat every day. Yeah. You know, it's hard. So yeah, for guys in your situation, it becomes really hard. Right? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, at least women, there's an easy way out. Right. It's yeah. No, the men way. have it way harder because they don't just have a pussy. They can't just go yeah. make some quick money like that. But yeah, being in a wheelchair is that. It's so, it hurts so bad. I can't make money like I used to at all. Yeah, nobody wants to pick up a wheelchair. Yeah, nobody wants to pick up a girl in a wheelchair, you know? Yeah, so it's tough. Yeah. And do you have children, children of your own? Or I do. I have a daughter. She's 19. Where is she? South Carolina. Did, who raised her? My father did. Your father did? Yeah. And you, so you were kind of on the street for a long time? or? or World yeah, world. I got divorced when I was 23 from my husband, and after that, my life just fell apart, and I started doing drugs and been doing them ever since. What, did you have a job before that, or you were just raising your kid? Just raising my daughter. Yeah. I worked. My dad owned a bar, and I worked for him. Okay. And what do you see down the road for you for the next five years? Do you have you like to get your legs back, right? Yeah, I'd love to learn to, you know, get stronger. And I'm going to the methadone clinic now, so hopefully I can keep myself going in the right direction with that. And uh, maybe one day get a job. That would be nice. And I'm working on getting housing. Mm -hmm. So my main goal is to just get off the streets. Yeah. Yeah. The wheelchair makes it doubly hard, right? Yes, for sure. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Do people take advantage of you because they see you as like more vulnerable being in a chair? I think sometimes they do. Plus, I'm really friendly and I like to talk to people, so they take advantage of people that they see are nice. They see that as weak. Right. You know? No, they they, they and, prey on the weaker. Yeah, for sure. And like a lot of the tricks, they'll try to like have sex with you and then not pay you and kick you out the car and then fuck, I'm seven or eight blocks from home and I can't walk. What? A, what do I do then? You know, I gotta have somebody pick me up literally and carry me back. That's and, happened. Yeah, that's happened. So, not good. Yeah, not everybody is a good person out here, you know? <laughs> uh, you start wondering if there are any. Yeah, a lot of the times. They're far and few between, that's for sure. It seems like everybody out here has an ulterior motive. You can't really call anybody your friend because you don't the ones you let close to you are usually the ones that are the first people to hurt you or rob you or... Yeah, and even it seems like the nicest, kindest person 
will do whatever the fuck it takes once they're addicted to the drug that they... Oh, for sure. Them. There's no limits when it comes to them needing their fix. You know, I know that myself. They'll do anything. Anything. They sell their kids. Yeah. They'll do whatever. Literally. Yeah. Literally. You've seen that, right? Yeah. It's um, terrible. Did you, so tell me about your childhood. You grew up with... with I grew up with great parents. My parents were wonderful. My father was in the military for uh, 27 years. My mother was a housewife. Um, I grew up like on and off of Air Force bases, good schools. I had, my mom got sick with cancer when I was 13 and she died when I was 15. So that was pretty hard. Then it was just me and my dad. And he got this new girlfriend and we didn't get along. And, Everything just kind of spiraled out of control after that. Now me and my dad don't talk anymore. But he did raise my daughter, and I do still talk to her, thank God. But, yeah, I've, I've tried to talk to him since my accident and being in the hospital, but he still won't talk to me, so I guess he's still mad for some of the stuff I did. Well, Kristen, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. Good luck with everything. Yes, thank you. What are you using this for? Uh, I put these up on YouTube. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So just just like information for people, like, like for young kids that might be considering getting into a gang or doing right? drugs or whatever. Oh, good. It's just, it's just a good bit of information for them to look at. Like, oh, wow. So, so. Right. So they can stop before <laughs> they get. It's, it's just like, awesome. you know, especially with the gangs. It's like, right. You do that. Death or prison. That's it. Guaranteed. And that's it. Guaranteed. That, 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 that goes without even. There's no chance of that not happening. I see people get shot and killed and beat up here every day. So, and I would hate to see a, a teenage girl go through anything like I've went through. So, if this helps anybody in any way, that's great. That's great. You're saying you're doing a good thing. That's a positive message to try to de deter our younger generation from growing up into this. Yeah, you know. You don't realize. Yeah. How serious is that can get. And it can get so serious. It's life and death out here yeah. every day. So if you can stop them before that, I think that's a great thing. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem.